you, um, could you give me a call? Yep. Hey. Hey. Poppy wanted a sleepover with Stell. They want to do a show for Tom. Lucky Tom. End of term tomorrow. We should organise a roster with the kids. I can take them to ballet exam, but they need tan shimmer tights. Is it true? What are shimmer tights? Oh, sorry. Hello? Yeah, well, she's alive and she's at work. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> well, could, could you tell you her... You are an idiot. And that is the most I'm getting involved. Oh. So it's true. Right. Well, now I'm going to have to punch you. What? She's my sister. Look, this is between Abby and I. This is not... OK, eye or cheek. Never punched anyone in your life. Oh! Oh, oh shit! Sorry. Oh. Um... You need some ice, OK? Ice. Oh! We got a problem. What happened to your eye? No, uh, Abby. No. Me? Can we just concentrate on the guinea pig? Winston, the class pet. Yeah, Stella's having him for the holidays. Tilda wouldn't let me leave without him because Zach and Jacob are supposed to have him for their last night in Melbourne. <sighs> Where are Zach and Jacob? That's a problem. You OK? Yeah, <laughs> good, really good. Well, just I know things are a bit tricky at the moment, and you... You know. And you didn't tell me. Well, I only know because Lewis... Lewis knows as well. Well... <sighs> my husband kisses my child's teacher and I'm the last person to know. Sorry, Jimmy, if this sounds private, but apparently it isn't. No, well, I only found out this afternoon. No answer. Open up. That is against health and safety regulations. Lucy, just open the door. I'm so not cool with this. <sighs> See, I told you he's not here. Well, he's got his three kids with him, doesn't he? And my tent. What was he thinking? Probably isn't. Yeah, we've had a bit of that lately. You've already given me a black eye. What more do you want? Hello? Yeah, all right. Don't panic. I'm five minutes away. I'll be there. Phoebe's having contractions. I shouldn't have left her. Hey, she's 36 weeks. How are you to know? And she's fine. Running around after Justin. Have we heard from him? Not a word. You speak to Abby? I just checked. She left hours ago. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're trying very hard. What do you want me to do? OK. Bit of a false alarm. Braxton Hicks. I'm faking labour. He didn't say that. Yes, he did. They practice contractions. It's the body's way of getting ready for the real thing. She needs a Panadol and a rest. I'd love to ram a cricket bat up him and tell him to take a Panadol. Come on, let's get you out I of here. I can walk. You know where she is, don't you? Yeah, so Justin called me. He's OK. Didn't explain what happened. I don't care what happened. It's the last time I lend you my tent. I'll oh, cut him some slack, mate. I know it's not the same without him. Mark and Abby are fighting. It's not right. You're not going to do this, are you? What? Go all sentimental. What's wrong with sentimental? Just everything. Take it! Nicola! <laughs> hey! I thought you were going to Sydney today. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're not going. Uh, Rodney went. Oh. But, um, well, the boys love it here, and they've got some good friends. Oh, so you're going to stick around. That's great. Yeah. Ah, your turn next, isn't it? Oh, great. Oh, we'll pass it on to Stel. Ah, there you go, gorgeous. What do we say, Stel? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Kane. Hey, just wanted to see that you're OK. He bought me flowers and punched Mark. Yeah, my first punch. I think I did a good job. <laughs> You're a nut. Look, this sibling stuff is touching, but I we need to get... I can't believe he did it. Mark, of all people. Yeah, can we talk about this later? It's I'm... no excuse, even though you are a workaholic. I'm not a workaholic. Well, 
No, I mean, you do work a lot. And Mark does put his job second, looks after Poppy, but still, it's no excuse. I thought you were supposed to be on my side. Would you leave? Because you are undermining all of my good work here. Look, I'm torn here, OK? Mark's like a brother to me. Can't you guys work something out? Am I a workaholic? Uh, no, you are not a workaholic, and you're going to be great at this job. What job? When... Hello? What are you doing? I'm trying to be supportive. Yeah, well, can you just... Tell her she can't go. Tell her you can't live without her. He can't run. He's got arthroscopic knees. Why did it have to be Poppy's teacher? I mean, that's in Abby's face all the time, every day. Why didn't I choose somebody anonymous and meaningless? Because you're an idiot. I don't even want to have an affair. I've never wanted to have an affair. I'm happy. I just want to have a beer of an evening and watch the news. Mm. Yeah, I think it's probably a good idea you didn't run after her. Don't think you're going to sweep her off her feet with that speech. Mm, he's not the sweeping type. I sweep. I have swept on many occasions. Hey. Hey. Brought your tent back. Hey, uh, sorry I should have told you what I was doing yesterday. Yeah, but you decided to try and stuff your life up again. Hey, the important thing is that he's back. And we've got some news. Nicola's back. She never left. Rodney went to Sydney without her. Maybe there's trouble in paradise. Are all men as stupid as you guys? It's pretty obvious that she still cares about him. I mean, she covered for him and she's staying. How could you be so dumb? That was... Emotional. Fake labour's back. Fake labour? <sighs> We're going to get you to hospital, Phoebe. Oh, I'm not going to the hospital. Phoebe! Oh, I'm not going to the hospital! Oh. OK, breathe. <sighs> you OK, Phoebes? No! Phoebe, you got to get in the car. I'm not getting in the car! OK, everybody calm down. Phoebes, why don't you have a seat? I don't want to sit down! Standing's fine. Standing's excellent. That's very good. Phoebe, oh. Phoebe, listen to me, darling. Look, you're a brave, capable, gorgeous girl. Please. Can't you make it go away? Phoebe, I'll give you 500 bucks if you get in the car. Tim and it's me. Just got Phoebe. We're popping into the hospital. I really wish you'd pick her up. Call me. What are you doing? You're on my lap. I'm just trying to give Phoebe some room, OK? You right there, Phoebes? I need to push. What? No! Oh, I need to push! Pull over! Really? Pull over! Yeah. Pull over. <sighs> Ambulance is on its way, Phoebe. Oh, I need to push! Just remember to breathe. You think I'm going to forget to breathe? <sighs> OK, then, less than three minutes apart, guys. Uh, uh, she says it's coming. She keeps wanting to push. OK, nice deep breaths. <laughs> yeah, I've told her that. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <sighs> You're going to have to check if she's crowning. Crowning? Put Mark on the phone. Hello? Crowning's when the baby's head becomes visible. <laughs> Women tell gay guys their labour stories, OK? <laughs> OK, Phoebe, i just got to have a quick look at... <laughs> Yep, it's crowning. OK, how far away from the hospital are you? 15 minutes, depending on the traffic. Ah, oh, I'm going to put you onto Abby now. OK. <laughs> hey, it's coming. The head's coming. OK, the aim is to slow things down until the ambulance comes. OK, slow down. Don't push too hard. <laughs> but is she comfortable? Are you comfortable? <laughs> Next question. Lewis needs to support the head. How far apart are the contractions? How far apart are the contractions? Uh, they're 130 seconds apart. 130 seconds. Uh, he needs clean hands. Hey, wash your hands! <laughs> oh, yeah. Baby watch. Never go anywhere without him. I taught him that. <laughs> You're OK, Pete. <laughs> She's doing really well. She's got to use the contractions to push, but only gently. OK, push, but only gently. Do you hear that, Phoebe? Just nice and gently, sweetheart. Oh, my God, it's actually coming! Yeah. It's got a head! Funny that. OK, we don't want it coming too fast. Little pushes. Gentle, little pushes. OK, sweetie, listen yeah. to me. Phoebe, Phoebe, listen to me, darling. Just one more push. Nice and gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop it! I'm not going to drop it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. He's here. I can hear him. Hey, keep him warm. Keep him warm. Keep him warm. How does he look? Beautiful. He looks beautiful. Well, the fostering agency and probably teenager. Okay. Similar. It's just going through puberty. The toilet trained. Hmm. 